the sun's coming up and there are monsters outside. There's a lot of people that are afraid of the dark. They're like afraid of being alone. But for me, I love being alone. I love being in the dark. I love being like in a sad mood. <laughs> but the only reason I've the the main reason that I've come to the conclusion of that is that it makes the light so much better and this guy is like I don't know what he's doing I'm not letting you in there there you go but it makes it makes the light so much better it's uh it's the whole you need shadows in order to see the light sort of thing so when there's somebody who tells me that they're in the dark I celebrate that I'm like that's awesome that you're in the dark that's awesome that you're going through a really bad time <laughs> well I don't tell them that but they uh that's just how I feel inside about them because I know that they're going to feel something better over time and it, that moment is going to make it all much, all the better for them. Just watching all these monsters die. There's a guy over here just burning like he's not even... He's not even dying. He's just like glitched there. Oh, there he goes. Get some bone. There's one of those guys, the Enderman. But there's a there's a whole concept of having contrast in your life. So when you have contrast, you get to experience everything. You experience the full range of all the way darkness and then eventually all the way light. And then you experience like I think in my life I've definitely experienced all the way drunk and then all the way sober all the way sad all the way happy all the way um <laughs> all kinds of things that have at the time like at the time when I was like feeling really sad about myself and stuff like that when I was in a depressed mode I was kind of I felt like I was in this water like I felt like like I could just sit on the edge here and just like lean back and just stare up at the sky with like my head like halfway out the water you know like like just like this but like barely out the water like like right there to where just my mouth and my nose are barely hanging out my eyes so I can just like be at the same level of the water that's how like I felt and then I just dipped all the way into depression and just f sunk all the way down into the worst feeling and in that time like I really truly hated life I felt all the way all the way bad and then the same thing happened recently with me and this girl that I was that I was going out with um, she made me like go all the way into depression she actually like was like a emotional roller coaster during the time that I tried to date her and I got to experience everything from jealousy to greed. It was just a lot of things. And I was just all kinds of going through all kinds of crazy. But in that time, I learned so much. And I thank her for that. And the only way that I, the only way that I started like coming back to 
or the only way that I started feeling light again was when I started to to point out the positive things that I, that happened to me. So, in my head, whenever she would pop up, I would if I thought about something negative or I thought of a, a feeling that or like something r- reminded me of her, what I would do is I would go and um, I would sit down and I would just allow myself to think about her all the way through and just embrace the pain, embrace the breakup and think about her just entirely, put all my attention to the thought of her. And then I would sit there and I would start pointing out all the things that were positive about the experience, all the things that I learned. And up until that, before I learned how to do that, before I learned how to just look at all the positive things, like I was struggling against it. It was like I was stopping the flow of my own life, the flow of my own thoughts, because I was just so hung up on her that I couldn't allow another girl in another relationship. And then when I stopped, eventually when I, when I like figured out like that if you just think about the positive things of of a bad situation that situation never comes up in your thoughts again it's like you've completed it's like you've accepted the lesson and your time it's time for you to move on it's time for you to take on the next level and more crazy but this time you can embrace it all the way and that's where I'm going that's the next phase for sure I I definitely thank her for all of the craziness that she put me through and I thank all the people that helped me get through it even I I met a lot of people while I was while I was in and around her and she took up a lot of my time but and like the depression didn't come from her the depression was way before her the reason why she came into my life was because i was depressed because i was depressed i i attracted somebody like her so you attract what you like whatever you whatever you feel is the is what you're attracting at any time so i was feeling bad I was feeling sad for myself. So someone else who would who was all either preying on that sort of emotion or somebody else who was going who was going to or who someone who felt that same way or who had like that same ki- had a similar issue, a similar feeling, whatever however that feeling is expressed would come into your life and that was her. I never got to the I never got down to like knowing her to the point where I could evaluate her, but I didn't really want to. I actually wanted, I actually avoided that because I was afraid of asking questions that I didn't want answered. And even though I didn't want those, even though I didn't want to know the questions, I wanted there to be some like mis, like some mystery to her. And that's what happened. And what I asked for came true. And guess what? <laughs> One day it all came crashing down and uh, came down, crashing down on me and I just got utterly destroyed by it. She told me about like she was dating um, people and she was like, it, it was crazy. Like all the things that she told me she was doing while we were dating and I was like, all right, well, I tried to make sense of it. I was just like, um, I tried to make sense of it saying that, that, yeah, this is just what modern people do is they date multiple people. And I was like, yeah, that I all accept it. That's, that was my reasoning. That was my craziness. And that was me avoiding the feelings rather than just accepting them. And then when I finally accepted them, all those thoughts left and then I was able to experience light and that's when everything started turning around people started people saw me people that who who I worked with and people who saw me daily 
they started to notice like changes they would be like wow like i don't know what it is i don't know what you're doing like you look the same and you everything is the same but you like feel different for some reason <laughs> and uh they they couldn't really pinpoint what it was even though i was doing the exact same thing working the exact same way everything was uh, pretty much exactly the same it's just that I, w i just came in with a different energy and even when i would go to like the grocery store before when i was thinking about like when i was in in my depression state um no one would really people would avoid me um the cash register cashiers were always angry and i would always think like man this people are just always angry like what is their problem and all of a sudden i learned like through that that it's all about the energy that you're outputting is what you attract to yourself so since i started being a lot happier a lot more happy things came into my life and i became way way more responsive i started like enjoying very basic things i, I mean like just enjoying things that i normally eat i started cooking for myself i found a lot of joy in cooking i started um making things that like i i had all these thoughts for um things like art and painting and stuff like that and i started painting again and drawing and writing and all these things that i didn't do when i because i was so stuck on this one thought that they all came rushing back to me and when they did like i was even better than i ever was and all my work started coming out better people at work started saying like wow you're turning in really good work now um everything just like lit up and that that was the turning point for me that i learned so much just from that one just just from being able to accept what was happening and for that like i can't even I I can't even be mad anymore. It's just amazing. It really is. And <laughs> I uh I started like playing this game again. And I actually had an idea for some um games that I wanted to create, but one of them actually started or got created, so I have to I have to revisit the drawing board and get back on it. I have like developers and stuff that want to work with me on a game so we're probably going to do that and i will show you guys what the game is once it comes out it's a it's just gonna be a simple mobile game but i think you guys will be excited about it because and you guys will definitely hear about it it's not going to be like it's not going to be a small project it's a pretty big project and there's a lot of people involved not just me um but with that being said um you guys i've always like told you guys projects and stuff and a lot of times they don't come true but i feel like i'm in a different space now and i think that um i think that things are, are gonna be a lot a lot better and i'm gonna definitely i'm gonna definitely do my best to make more videos um i started trying to make other i tried to make another like um, rap song video like uh like call of duty i was gonna do a call of duty advanced warfare song but i was like no one cares about this game <laughs> i was like no one really cares about this stuff so let's try it let's try something that is more positive and i decided to go and do it's just like why why change the formula i like doing minecraft i don't like doing minecraft videos and i also set up my blog um, but I haven't written anything on there, so there isn't a reason to go there. But when I do set up or when I do put, add my writings, writings that I, I want to write something that makes sense to you guys, not something that is like just my thoughts. Like to me, this makes sense. Like these, these videos make sense to me. Um, they don't, well, they don't really necessarily have to make sense. Like I'm not really even doing anything in Minecraft. I'm just kind of using it like a medium to walk around because <laughs> i think it's really boring to to listen to a podcast but um and plus like i used to have like 
a mission in this game. Um, I just I think that there are other people that do missions better. Just don't really don't really know what to do, but I don't really I'm not really worried about it. Um, you guys already kind of know the deal. <laughs> Plus, I just like the ambiance of Minecraft. And this guy is asking for a beatdown. Ah, okay, there we go. Oh, at least, at least I got rid of that sword. So, contrast is a wonderful thing. But some people, like, I think that if you decide to be depressed, like, go all in. Be the most depressed person of all time. Don't be a shy, depressed person. Be, like, all the way depressed. Like, make your friends depressed. Make everything all about depression. Like, go into it as much as you can because you only have one life. Why? If you only have one life, one chance to be all the way depressed, why not and go all in and, and be completely depressed to the point where, to the point where you are completely, like, where you are almost, you know, almost going insane because the closer you get to being completely lost and com completely gone, the better it'll be when you come back and you become, when you get back to, whoa, whoa, it's like a baby. Oh, I've never seen one of these. They're awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. I've never seen that. That's hilarious. Like a little baby zombie. But um, whoa, whoa, whoa. These guys are crazy now. But like I said, if you're going to be depressed, like go all in, go all the way depressed. And then, cause it'll be bet it'll be really awesome when you come back and you feel totally totally at ease and you're happy and the light because when you're in a dark room when you're in a really dark room there is no cure for the dark room other than a light switch and that light switch when you turn the light switch on everything will make sense to you You'll see all of the, you'll see that like all of the things that you saw in the dark that were really scary weren't actually real. You'll see that all of the things, you'll see that all the things that, that you thought were going to destroy you are actually there to help. You'll see that everyone has really good intentions. You'll see that the world is a much better place. And you'll have some shadows. You'll have some shadows that you can use to contrast yourself. And you won't just be living off the ideas of other people. You won't just be living off assumptions anymore. You'll like take all of the illusions that are in your life and you'll, sh you'll clear them out. You'll do... You'll do that. <laughs> All right. Um, I hope you guys have an epic day or epic night. I will catch you guys later. Um, I'll make another video soon. See ya.